What's up guys? How you doing today? And welcome to another episode of Just Doing Tools. And today we're just doing hammers. And uh, while I got your attention, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I think there may be a part two and let me tell you why. We set, this, set, we set these hammers up over a week ago, almost two weeks ago. And then Joe was out sick, we couldn't finish it, so it's been sitting here. But in the meantime, I literally, literally got in two pallets of just hammers. So some sledgehammers. <clears throat> so I wanna make sure you see them all. So real quick, we're gonna cover some hammers and you know, all you guys know I'm, I'm a big history guy. So let's start with this one because I wanna get it out of the way. This is a 1942 World War II tent stake driving mallet, okay? You don't see many of these around, but this is what they use in World War II to put tent stakes in. All right, so let me get this out of the way just because I, I wanted to show it off. I got a couple of my own personal hammers here. <clears throat> we're we're going to cover those too. All right. So we always say nobody has more tools than us. Nobody. We have inventory of every manufacturer. And I always find closeout deals and good deals. And uh, look at this deal I got right here. And this, is, this isn't for a mechanic per se, but this is for a homeowner or something like that. And this is a, a 16 ounce claw hammer with a, a flat flat bar pry tool. And this deal we put on, we put, the, we put this online for 20 bucks. So that's, a, I'm sorry, $25. It's a great deal, 25 bucks. If you, if you go on Amazon or Home Depot, it's 16 and 16, 32. So we're saving you money. We're always here trying to save you guys money. This is a great addition for the house. Give it to your wife, give it to your father-in-law. It makes, makes a great gift. <clears throat> I'm gonna clear stuff away so I have a little, a little working room too. <clears throat> and we have a lot of guys that stop in, stop in here, dent, dent removing guys, so we got these in for them. And this is a, a four in one Removable. This is an inexpensive hammer. This is twenty dollars, and you can change the tips on it: steel, plastic, hard or soft. Twenty bucks. And again, this is nothing special, but we found a deal on. We brought them in. We do. We, we do a lot of a lot of bargain. We do a lot of bargain shopping for you guys, so you don't have to. Okay. I had a good. These are and these are almost gone. For the record, we did a a two pack deal. This hammer was 30 bucks. It's an S-wing, it's a beautiful hammer. Two and a half pound. And we're throwing one of these in for 35, right? Is that the deal we did? I believe so. Yeah, 30, 30, 35 for a two pack. We sold a lot of these and we're almost out. We have, I think we have like 12 more of these to do with these. That's like a, that's like a, a two hammers for 30. $35. It's a great deal. Okay. <clears throat> and these came in. Milwaukee. We all know Milwaukee's trying to take over the whole tool industry. And you know what? I'm not even mad at them. And they've been coming out with a lot of stuff. And whenever Milwaukee comes out with a new tool, they put a little, little twist on it, make it special. And they did a really nice job with this hammer. This is 24 ounces. And it stands, it stands there. That's nice. I mean, most hammers are going to fall. This one stands there. Feels good in the hand, too. They did a good job. And this one here is $30. Nice. And we've been trying to... And, you know, you got to get on the app website. These have been selling out very, very, very fast. So, I mean, I know we have more than this here, but, I mean, this was just, this has been sitting here for two weeks. I'm drinking water. I'm drinking water today, guys. Somebody made a comment I was drinking moonshine. And uh, that's, I drink coffee in the morning, water all day. That's it. I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to get anything fired up because I'm, I thought there was a truce, but if there's not a truce, let me know because I'm ready to go. Just saying. People want to uh, poke the tiger. Hey, Joe, did you ever hear the story time I went out to Vegas and I got drunk and I was dancing with a call girl and there was, somebody took, somebody took whole videos, videos of it. And sent it, to, sent it out. You didn't hear about that? No. Oh, that was the other guy. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I when I go to Vegas, I bring my wife. You know, I don't, you know, go there and try, pick up, try to pick up call girls. Anyway, speaking of hammers, this is my hammer that I use on the tool truck. This is a brass hammer. It's been on there for years. And look at the, look, do a close-up there. Look at, look at the, look at the damage on that thing. And if you guys know why it has that much damage on it, and what I use this, use this hammer for on the tool truck, comment below. I'm a fan, I love this hammer. Okay. I did that one. Oh, well, speaking of the comments, while we're here, speaking of the comments, it seems like everyone thinks Die Hard is a Christmas movie, so I'm glad we got that ironed out. Most guys said Die Hard was a Christmas movie. There was a couple guys that said it wasn't, but there was definitely, definitely, uh, a, a, according to the comments, a Christmas movie. Okay? Okay. Back to hammers. Back to hammers. Now, back to hammers. Okay. This one here, I, I think we only have one of these. This is the last one. We had a bunch of these. That's why you guys got to get on the app, got to get on the website. We do closeouts all the time. This was an S wing. This, I only have one of these left. I'm, uh, it's sixty nine dollars, and it's a four pound brass. Co I'm sorry, copper hammer. This thing's beautiful. But I, like I said, I only have one of these. I'm not going to post it. You want to call the straw? I'll sell it to you. But I have I have a couple of these. This is a this is a brass six pound sledgehammer, and this is a one oh nine. When you're done using it, you can scrap it at the scrap it at the at the at the junkyard and get your money back. Smart, right, Joe? In case you gotta hit something that you don't want to fly off, you could die using the hammer. Joe, I never told you the story, but I've told the story before on YouTube. I was at, I, went, I was walking into a shop one time, right in Newark. The shop was very dark. I walk into truck dump, a dump truck shop in Newark, and uh, and I see I'm calling, hey, go oh, for the mechanics, and no and nobody's answering back to me, right? So there's a, there's a drop light underneath this one truck. So I walk over to the truck, and I look under the truck for, for the mechanic, and what do I see? What do you see? Blood. A puddle of blood. Okay? True story. So now, I follow the blood trail through the shop up the stairs. Now, I'm talking this blood trail was significant. Okay? So I get up to the top stairs into the office, and here's my customer. His name is Arnold. Okay? Laying on a floor in a pool of blood. What I'm telling, listen. What I'm what I'm saying, a pool of blood. I mean, a pool of blood. I'm like, oh my god, what happened? He was hammering on a dry shaft yoke. A piece of the metal broke off, went into his leg, and cut his main artery in his leg. Oh yeah. So now, I'm like calling the ambulance. I'm calling the police. I'm calling everybody. Nobody's coming. So now, <clears throat> this guy's gonna die, in my opinion. And I know you're not supposed to use a tourniquet. My mother is, is in the medical field her, her, whole, her whole life. She was a nurse for 40 years. I call her up and I go, Ma, I know you're not supposed to use a tourniquet, but I think this guy's gonna die if I don't use a tourniquet. So she's like, you could do it. Told me how to do it. And she said, you know, you gotta release it every few minutes, every, every 10 minutes or five minutes, whatever the was, I forget. But this guy without a tourniquet is gonna die. And let me tell you something. The ambulance never came, never. One of his employees showed up. We picked him up. We carried him down the stairs, put him in a Jeep, and took him to the hospital. Don't ever get hurt in Newark because you'll die. The ambulance will never come. And I still see Mr. Arnold from time to time, and, you know, he always thanks me for saving his life. <laughs> so, guys, if you're going to hammer on a hardened surface, please, at all times, use a brass or copper hammer. Let this take the hit and break not the piece you're hammering. Okay, you never heard of story, Joe? No. That's a good one, right? I got another one too, but I'll, I'll save it for I'll save it for, this, for for round two. Okay, guys. We recently took in the line Trusty Cook hammers. Okay, and these hammers are proudly made in the USA, and they make hammers for everybody. And they don't make the hammers for Snap-on. Currently, Snap-on has their own hammer-making process plant in Louisiana or some shit, and it's a literal piece of trash, in my opinion. They, it's like a, it's like it's like a, it's like a wet noodle to handle. I don't know what they were thinking, but anyway, back in the day, Trusty Cook did make their hammers. So anyway, these hammers are very nice. We have them in stock. We ha we've got a pallet of these hammers in recently. That's why we're doing this video because we have a lot of hammers. We have green and we have red, and we have different faces on them. We have the ball peen, and we have the flat surface, or the double flat, which is my personal favorite. I really like the double flat. 
Nobody really uses the peen again anymore. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, once in a while you might need it, but you're probably not going to need it unless you're making gaskets or peening over a, a, a rivet, which most of you guys wouldn't even know we'll just start peening over it unless there's an old timer out there. Did I say that, Joe? Okay. I, I'm sorry, Joe, because, you know, I, I like I like to, uh, like, you know, tell these guys the stories and all. Okay. Give me a second, guys. I want to be factual here with you. Okay. This hammer right here is $50. They have a lifetime guarantee. The handle texture is really nice. And this is, an, I'll tell you, man, I, I might have to put one of these in the toolbox. This is nice. We could do a private label with these guys, too. So this is 50 bucks. And then we got the 36 ounce ball peen, and this is $55. And again, they, they, they did a really nice job with this hammer. And again, made in USA. Guys want made in USA things. I don't want to hear complaint, one complaint about the price because if you guys want made in USA stuff, it costs more. And that's the end of that's the Okay. These are the same price. These are $70. Whether you want the ball peen or the uh double I think they're called double faced. I'm really feeling these hammers. They're nice. Look at the handle on this thing. It's fucking beautiful. Okay. And not to be, and not, what's the word I'm looking for? Not to be least, last, what's, 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 last but not least. Last but not least. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. Uh, listen, I, I'm a little out of practice. I haven't done one of these in a couple weeks. So I'm, I'm sorry. Am I, am I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to do a good job. Okay. You're this, doing a great job. Oh, thanks, I appreciate that, buddy. This is called the Dead Blow Extender. Oh, where's the Stubby's cousin? That's the most cup. We didn't have them. Anyway, this is the dead blow extender. And it's it's a wacky tool. I, I get it. But I mean, like, if you need it, you're going to need it. It's great for, like, and, and the first thing that comes to mind when I see this is, like, say you're doing an engine job and you want to knock a piston down a little bit or tap it down, tap it in. This is great for that. And there's a million other uses you could use this for. I mean, it's just a great addition to have in your box. You got a lot of stuff in your box you're never going to use anyway. You might as well put one of these in there and maybe you'll use it. All right, Joe, come on through, buddy. You get a red one or no? Just, just, just a green one? That's for this is fine. Oh, you got, oh, you got it? No. Different one. Oh. It's not a Stubby's cousin. Ah, well, let's, let's show it anyway, Joe. Do we know how much a Stubby's cousin is? So anyway, this is $45. And, the, and again, if you're going to buy, buy a hammer, Buy one of these jammy jammies, it'll uh, change your life. Now this is by far the most popular hammer that they make and we sell. Okay, this is called a Stubby's Cousin, right? So think about it. You got a hard surface here and a soft surface here. This is one stop shopping. This is our most popular selling hammer that they have. And this is $60 and it's available in green or red. Whatever you prefer. And again, it's got a great textured handle on it. And it's nice. This is a great, this is a nice hammer. If you don't have this hammer, what are you doing? Think about it. Get that, get this, you're set. Take the world on. All right, guys. I'm doing a short one. I'm doing a sweet one. Today, we're doing a huge giveaway. Joe, do me a favor. Grab, give, me, give me one of our pick sets. I'm sorry I got you running around, Joe. I know you're, I know you're a little, uh, you know... He's like, a, he's like a cheetah. Don't throw that. I'll, I'll die. Okay, guys, what we're doing, I have a shelf full of these, a shelf full. So I'm going to give them away. I don't care. Buy a JD Tico pick set for 20 bucks. Put our name on them too. They're beautiful, okay? And we're giving away four beer tools and one complete kit and five other assorted tools. Over $2,000 in merchandise we're giving away. Buy a pick set for 20 bucks. Ten of them will have a coupon in it to win one of these great prizes. Yes, I always give away tools. I like giving away tools. I'm a generous person. Guys, like we always say, come for the price and stay for my generosity. Peace. Hey guys, Joe here holding down the front of the JD Tico World Headquarters. But I just wanted to take a second to remind you that our days are destined by God. You know, each and every one of us was born with a specific purpose and time and, and time and history. And you know, I think part of that purpose is that we live to 
teach others and to point others to Christ. And, you know, and that's by loving them and encouraging them um, to be obedient to God. So I hope you don't let anything get in your way. Keep your heart set on Christ. Um, make sure you get your rest this weekend because it's God ordained. Maybe check out church service online in person. But I hope you have a great and blessed weekend. And I'll talk to you guys next week.